hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in today's video we will be analyzing tcs nqt 2025 15 march shift to exam okay so in this video i will be sharing almost everything okay with you like what were the most asked topics in this shift what will be the cutoff and for all the future aspirants of tcs nqt who are going to appear for your exams this will be very helpful okay because this shift was one of the most discussed ones because with many candidates reporting compiler issues input problems and difficulty levels in certain sections so it is very important for you to understand what pro uh, mistakes you should avoid while you appear for your tcs nqt examination so before we start this video if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly upload these kinds of helpful videos and there is a complete playlist on tcs nqt that i am running on my channel make sure to practice questions from that video playlist too Let's get started and see what we are going to cover in this video. First of all, we are going to see uh, aptitude and reasoning analysis. Basically, what were the like, you know, questions that we got in this sections. Then we will see most repeated topics because with that you will understand which topics you should prepare. Okay. And then we will see coding questions and solutions. Okay. And then finally, some tips and tricks for you to ace your TCS NQT examinations. Let's move forward with our uh, first section, which is aptitude section analysis. Okay. See, the difficulty level of this section was easy, okay, and most asked topics uh, in this section were percentages, ratio, and proportion. So, guys, if uh, all of you who has prepared from my ratio and proportion videos in my TCS NQT playlist, you might have found it very easy because you have already practiced the formulas, right? And now, in ratio and proportion, the questions are very easy, it is not that tough, okay, and then comes mensuration and area problems and then finally basic arithmetic where you will have questions based on income expenditure and savings so about 8 out of 20 questions were very simple that they required little or no even uh, pen paper calculations also basically if you have good practice of solving question you can have even solve them without uh, you know pen or papers so many students you know tend to over prepare with the advanced level of aptitude but that's why i always say that don't over prepare make your basics strong that is what important rate okay because thesis NQT tests your fundamental concepts only most of the times okay okay so now let's move on to the next set of uh, section which was your verbal section okay and this is the analysis for verbal section that is first you had questions based on jumble sentences which were slightly tricky but manageable if you have previously solved sufficient questions so you can easily manage them next questions you had based on synonyms these were tougher because you know not everyone has good practice or good vocabulary right so you don't have fam familiarity with the words that is why i always say try to improve your vocabulary and try to learn as much as new words possible so that is why this was a bit tougher due to unfamiliar words but yeah this was manageable okay and then third set, uh, third set of questions like which were mostly asked were reading comprehension and sentence errors we have sufficient uh, we have practiced sufficient amount of questions so all those who have prepared from my videos could have easily cracked it so these were like very fairly straightforward questions only uh, so yeah the only verdict out of this section is that many candidates found that the synonyms were the most challenging since they were unfamiliar with the words okay however rearranging sentence and error detection was easier okay moving on to the next section which is reasoning section so in reasoning section uh, difficulty level is very easy and most asked topics were based on arrangement sitting and logical arrangements and coding and decoding based questions were also there and that finally you will have uh, dice and paper cutting questions okay and uh, the main thing in this section is that students finish this section within just 20 to 22 minutes okay this was like bit very like bit easier this time usually reasoning section is not that easy but this time it is easy so one thing i can say for the upcoming you know slots or upcoming uh, phases candidates that don't think that if this time it was easier it can be the other way around that your uh, you know in your slot it might be tougher so practice accordingly don't uh, you know analyze in such a way that okay whatever has happened in this uh, slot so exactly will come in our slot also this is just to give you a rough idea that which section you should focus and which types of questions you should focus more on and uh, so that you can get more marks okay so that you clarify at least the basic ninja one okay let's see the next set of question that we had okay so we had advanced section right where quantitative and logical reasoning questions were there so nine plus questions were directly mathematical manipulations and then quadratic equation and foundational problem uh, were there and finally even advanced section was easier than expected this is told by most of the students that you know in the basic 
section the reasoning was bit tougher as compared to the advanced one the reasoning level of reasoning questions in the advanced one were very easy so which is a good thing right uh, you can easily score marks so yeah this was the analysis for advanced uh, reasoning section now we are moving on to the coding section so guys uh, on my screen you can see the two coding questions that were asked okay and i have already uploaded the solution videos for the questions so, so you can check it on my play, uh, channel you will find the solutions and i also provided the working codes in the description box of those video so make sure to check that so the first question was based on sum of integers in a range basically uh, you were given uh, the uh, input in this way that is two numbers were there this is basically your range so when we say 0 and 3 all the digits between 0 to 3 including 0 and 3 will be taken 0 1 2 3 and you need to sum up all the digits okay like 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and then your answer will be 6 so in the solution video i've already taught you uh, the optimal approach and the basic approach both make sure to check it second question was based on make three numbers equal you will given three integers p q and r okay and you can increase any two by one and decrease the third by one basically let's see the input then you will understand and you have to basically find the minimum operations to make them equal or return minus one if possible so see one two and three is there okay so what you will do firstly you will uh, in one operation you have to in increase two digits by one and decrease one digit by minus one so see if we increase this with plus one plus one and minus one what we will get one plus one is two two plus one is three and three minus one is two okay in this way you will do different uh, you know combinations and all finally if you don't find that it is not possible so you will give minus one okay if it is possible so you have to return the minimum amount of operations so these were the two coding questions that you had and uh, this was i would say easy level and this was like a bit tough level or medium to tough level i would say okay so yeah these were the two coding questions now some final tips okay before discussing the final tips let me tell you a few things about the coding section so guys see those who have solved one coding question they have a good chance of clearing digital and those who have solved two coding questions with all the test cases they have good chances of getting prime but don't even uh, don't think that only coding sections uh, consideration will only be considered uh, for your like different uh, roles you will uh, also get your different roles based on your aptitude and reasoning and all that advanced reasoning uh, performance also so your all the performance are very good then you will get a prime role if your uh, performance is a bit lower than uh, like you know very all the correct answers then you will get digital road and if you have uh, like performed well in just apt reasoning and verbal then you can easily get the ninja role also because for ninja role coding is not that tough uh, not not that mandatory so if someone who has who was not able to you know attempt the uh, coding section and they are feeling nervous that will we even get selected or not don't worry guys you can easily get selected at least for the ninja role okay okay so some final tips from my end uh, so you have to focus on basics guys see for all the ones who are going to attempt now again uh, TCS and QT in the upcoming slots make sure that you focus on ba basics because the exam tests your fundamental concepts and not advanced tricks because you know sometimes you over prepare you see a lot of you know uh, short tricks this and that and you try to overwhelm yourself that there is a lot of content to prepare no don't do that try to focus on basics and you can easily you know clear these exams manage time manage your time smartly because you know there is very uh, short of timings usually what what happens is students they focus on few questions a lot okay and they spend the times on those questions only and then remaining questions are left out so don't do this uh, solve the easy questions first and then tackle the tricky ones and uh, then avoid input mistakes always cross check how inputs are handled in different languages okay and practice mock tests simulating the real exams will give you a speed and accuracy too stay calm and confident most students overthink just trust on your preparation and perform well okay now also one more thing about coding part we have seen that the most of the issues were faced in java okay compiler issues were faced in java and the least amount of issues were faced in python and c plus plus and c were like equal and moderate level uh, some students faced issues some did not so uh, try to choose your language also wisely and uh, prepare accordingly so i think i have tried to cover all the analysis if you have any more doubts you can put it in the comment section if you are finding this videos helpful please write the word helpful in the comment box so that i get to know how many of you are preparing for your upcoming tcs nqt examination and i will soon post more actual questions okay videos uh, related to uh, real actual questions that were asked in these slots okay related to apt verbal and reasoning so make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss on the notification when i will upload those videos that's all for this video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time